hi guys uh, welcome to my uh, channel so i'm back with another video so in this video i will um, explain on the configure saml authentication uh, for psm for windows basically so starting 4.2 sebrac has introduced um, saml authentication support for psm for windows so today we'll see how to configure that and authenticate for psm for windows to log into target servers through saml authentication okay so without any further delay so we'll start with our uh, configuration so first uh, we'll configure uh, idp side things so here my idp is azure ad or enter id so now i'll just go to enterprise applications in azure and create a new application so from the gallery i will just choose the or cyberarc or saml application which is used for the pwa saml integration but i'll use that and uh, customize accordingly so or you can use the mm, create a new application as well okay saml authentication for psm i can give it a name so next uh, we can go create So now once the application is created, click on the setup, setup single sign on. So click on the SAML one. Edit uh, the first step basic SAML configuration. So instead of password vault, you keep it as HTTPS. <laughs> cyberkf.com okay so here you can give the individual psm fqtn or the vip where you have multiple psm behind the load balancer so i only have one psm right now so so in the reply you are uh, so i'll configure the same thing here as well so it's fine okay so single sign so these are optional so i can save it now i go edit the saml certificate section and then a signing option you should select sign saml response and assessment and uh, save it so download the certificate mm -hmm. okay so now this is completed so the idp side things are completed so now let's log in back to uh, pwa and uh, do the uh, uh, pwa side configurations okay so let me check so now let's go go to configuration options options and expand privilege session management general settings server settings advanced settings saml settings and uh, enable this uh, this option to yes and in the identity provider login url copy the url from um, the azure application here you can see in the four step so login url copy from here and identity provider login url okay next the icd whitelist 
so these are some of the common domains which will be uh, used while uh, while authentication process is happening so i will just search it in random in google but i have a, i'll attach uh, i'll place them in a github link so you can use that so identity provide certificate serial number you can take it from the certificate oh, where is that in it the details copy it paste it and in the service provider thing uh, give the uh, you can give the others as a consumer service URL so it's just https slash psm fkdn okay so just apply it okay pws side things completed now the next thing is PSM side things so we can just copy the certificate which we downloaded to uh, the PSM server first download the state modified copy paste it in the PSM So we'll install it actually first we'll install it in the root certificate store so next thing is you need to create a trusted idp uh, store okay so you need to create a another uh, certificate store uh, named as trusted idp store how to create that is you'll have a command so i will I'll pro uh, I've provided it in the github link so here come down so if you see here i have provided the link so you can just copy that and go to psm go to partial isc paste here so the file so i have already created it so i'm getting error so that's fine so you can see here trust ip is there so i install that uh, the same certificate there as well local mission next so the next thing is give the access uh, to the users to the application assign the users okay so as this is the basic domain which is a default domain provided by Azure so I can only add users so let's see okay, let's see so i'm adding the user okay so now what i will do is i will test so the configuration from all the sites has been completed so now i will test with the rtp file okay so if you don't know how to access the article it is just a two steps full address by alternate shell so i'll upload this article file for your reference as well so but it's just simple
This one that the one. Okay. Let's again see what's there of this. Says no valid certificate with serial number found in the trusted ID stores. Let me just validate one minute. I need to restart the service. Let's see. Because it is like Let's see. I believe there is no mistake from our end. Let's see again.
you can see right so now the authentication is successful so actually it has to uh, do the certificate so we need to restart uh, the service post applying the new certificate actually so fine so after restart it is working fine so we have successfully did it actually so you can see right so so we have successfully set up the saml authentication for psm for windows so yeah so if you have any queries comment in the comment box so please support me and uh, yeah i'll come back with more videos so and uh, if you need any videos on certain topic so post it on the comments thank you